tractor and star that some bitch up and get out there in that field and cultivate that some bitch and plant something. You think that's you think that's right for somebody to pay you? Is the brigade, you know, of about Batania? Yes, it's called the Lexia Batania. Are you looking to? Uh, are you looking to watch? Find Direwolf's mod spotlight for Britannia 1.10. Make sure it's 1.10 Moody and not uh, 1.7 on YouTube. Direwolf 20s. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, you do it. I watch so, him all the time whenever I need to find out about certain mods. Cattle, pigs, and lamb, fresh growing fruits, and fresh growing veggies. You're from a great area then, Rich, Richard. But the problem is, I, I know in the States, I don't know about Canada. But in the States, your beef is all steroid bread. Hell yeah. It's all, we don't do that over here. No, they're reared properly. Yeah, they're reared properly. And in rearing them properly, we get a different type of beef. It's a higher quality beef, obviously, right? But here's the thing. A few years ago, if you took an animal into the factory at a ton weight, they would have been very, very happy to take it off your hands and give you a good price for it. Now you take an animal in at 750 kilos weight, they tell you he's overweight and they cut the shit out of your money. But if you sell him, if, if you take him in much less than 750 kilos weight, he's not making you any money at all. What's the server? Oh, that's my Twitch name. Where? Europe. Europe. Canada, green or grass? Yeah, we do have, we do um, sell. Or antibiotics, just grass. Ah, well, they do use antibiotics, Richard. They gotta, they have to. You have to use antibiotics in animals. It's, it, you know, like, there's a very, very famous phrase. If you have livestock... Read the password. Uh, somebody sent it to you there. If you have livestock, you have dead stock. Right. So without stuff like warmers and antibiotics, you know, you're, you're not going to have a herd left. I send it to you. Whoa! And he's telling the truth. So, it's like, yeah, we do have stuff that's called organic beef. Ricard, oh, sorry. It's French and Irish. Organic beef. No, probably. Beef. Ricard, sorry. There's no such thing as a organic beef because you got to put drugs in these animals before they go to the slaughterhouse. Actually, there is such thing as organic meat. Well, there is over here, yeah. There's a farmer down the road from me. He has the organic. All Everything he does is organic, so. You keep a load of Anguses. It, uh, uh, that's over there, but see, over He has here, Anguses, eh? Lee, I was in that yeah. farm. Yeah, see, over here, you got to have. He feeds them on kale. I behave. You, 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 you got to have some kind of drug in this cow not steroids not nothing like that most of the meat is simple like this the the organic meat costs more than the regular meat that comes through like am hill or something like that and because these cows are pure cows like they call it angus beef or they call it cut master beef you know but then when you have the super cows that has fucking muscles bigger than a motherfucking man and look like a motherfucking, look like a, a mutant cow, that's what you're feeding your kids. You're actually feeding that stuff. So it's like fish. You know, you go fishing, you eat fish, but then those fish taste different from the wild. Ricard, 102, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, Jesus. Welcome to the Spud Pickers, buddy, and I hope you enjoy it here. And there's a Christ just for you, Ricard. <laughs> just specifically for you, that one. <laughs> you played for 16 hours yesterday. Man, I have over 1,000 hours in this game. I'm, I'm sure I'm pushing 1,100. Well, I was only in 17. We're not talking about all the ones before that. Any uh, P7s, though? Nope. Oh, we're only starting off. We've only been on this farm too. This is only our second day on here. I mean, I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking organic beef. 
but here in America, there's no such thing as an organic beef. You can go get organic vegetables. You can go get all that. But when when you talk about going get organic, uh, I mean organic beef, there's no such thing as that because he's got to put some kind of impurative drug in that animal to sustain that animal. Where the hell am I going? Yeah, it, it's just simple like that. It, it, it's, it's like this. There's no farmer here that's going to take that risk of having the CDC or some kind of health department come to their farm and say, hey, your cow was sick and your cow gave all this beef that your cow done produce. I mean, give out your farm, you know, done produce. We're going to come back and sue you. Now, they already call them back beef meat in America, in some parts of America. Right. Because of, of, Alex, of, of, Alex of, is it only the game extension you're having trouble with? What's up, Virtual Evolution? How you doing? It is a bitch to be a farmer. Any fields need slurried? Uh, whatever field they've just harvested. You'll need to go to the BGA to get slurry. I don't think you got a track of it to pull that thing. What is... <laughs> you said what is slurry? Slurry is like... Animal uh, animal yeah. excrement. Yeah. It's better It's better to have that on your... That's, that's organic. Let's put it this way. That's organic. It's full of nitrogen. It's, yeah, it, it, makes your, it makes your crop looks good, tastes good. <laughs> Which is really funny to really think about, but it smells like shit. It that's because it is shit. <laughs> but if you really think about it, though, it is comical when you sit there and you think about the fact that you spread animal shit on your crops to make it taste better. Yeah. Liquid manure. Mm. When so you're you not really spreading it on the crops, you're spreading it on the ground before you sow the crops. Yeah. You know, you don't you don't pick your spuds, put them in a pile, and then take a slurry tanker over and go here. I'm going to make you taste yeah, better and the, blow it all over it. Is, is you don't really sit there and think about the fact that you're putting shit on your fields to make the crops taste better. I don't know whether it would have much effect on the taste. I'm sure it's more got to do with the growth. The shit's good for the soil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's going back to where it comes. Yeah, from. but if you've got better soil, you produce bigger, better tasting fruits and vegetables. So yep. it does affect the taste. Now, here's the funny thing about slurry. They use slurry every day. Okay? U UK, Ireland, they use slurry every day. Here I'm, America, I'm, I'm, we're not talking about the stuff Samo takes. Samo talks. We're not talking about that. What? The slurry? Nah, we're not talking about Samo speaking. You know, that, huh? That's slurry most of the time, too. Oh. Uh, no, that's more of uh, diarrhea. Where's the get there? Hmm, whoops. Diarrhea of the mouth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Drew, are you nearly full? Uh, 69. Way hey, good number. Okay. You remember back in the day when your mom and stuff like that, and they had an outhouse, and, you know, stuff like that. They used to take that with some topsoil, mix it in together, get out there, and then put it in their crops. You know, Ooh. ones that had tomato vines and stuff. You want to know why them big tomatoes are so big, motherfucking red and so juicy? Shit. <laughs> What do you think organic uh, fruit and vegetables they use? That's America all. Just get, they use nothing but shit. Yeah, America just got back in the slur. It's an old term. It's just old. They so dependent on fertilizer and all that good shit. We, you know what I mean? Well, that's the thing over here now. You got to get your fucking line tested to make sure you're not putting too much artificial fertilizer on or slurry for that matter. You're only allowed to so, spread. Ah, uh, you bollocks. February. It's only February, isn't it, Johnny? Slurry yeah. season? February till November. March. It's only about a month or so. What? 
put slurry out? Nah, you slurry all, all summer. By law, you're not supposed to. Yeah, by law, you can. You can't slurry during the winter. You can slurry all summer. Basically, they don't want the slurry washed straight into the river. That's basically what they're saying. I think I know why Alex could get on. You know, it doesn't make anything taste better, just helps crops grow. Well, that's true. But if you're talking about fruit, the bigger you can get fruit, the more juice there is in it. And the bigger you can get it is depending on what fertilizer you use. So, yeah. So, if you're talking about fruit, then slurry does make it taste better. Well, what was he doing wrong, Summer? Or manure, or whatever way you want to say. Yeah, uh, downgraded his patch to 1.4. Who did? Oh, Alex? Yeah. Why? I forgot just my like, game wasn't working the other day, so I tried just messing with that and um, I just forgot about it. So, once again, there was nothing wrong with my mods or my mod pack, it was your stupidness. No, it's you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Barbara was the distraction. Thank you, Samuel. Alright, let's get an essay done, just close me and I'm uh... Gonna continue watching this uh, YouTube on well, uh, I've harvested 13 and 14 stacks. Yeah, oh, they've been sowed. Okay, cool. oh, that was a giant pain in the ass, <laughs> Johnny. Wow. 13 and 14 are now with barley and wheat. I was That's looking crazy. for a tractor to pull that tanker so I can put shade out. <laughs> no, I've already, I've already done it. It's fertilized. This has got fertilizer in it. I've got enough. Uh, well, the grass, the this. grass fields will need done. One still has the bales sitting on them still. The case would never pull that tanker, would it? It should do. Mightn't pull it that fast, but it'll pull it. <laughs> I just finished my tiny baler, Johnny, of adding in those tiny bales on it and adjusting the heights. Looking good? Fairly good. Since I found the tiny baler with the bale off of your mods, I was able to import the bale into the uh, i3d file I was working on and used it as a guide for where I needed to place the bales. Johnny? Yeah, see? Do you want me to come give you a hand? Or... Yes, please. I just had to adjust 135 items heights. Jesus. Bailey, shut the fuck up. You can't get at the cat. He fucking sits outside, there's a cat sits on the roof of the garden shed next door. Taunting him the whole fucking day and he just sits and barks at him. <laughs> what? Pick Bailey up and let him on the shed roof. I can't reach it. The garden next door is actually raised compared to ours. I couldn't get him up there. Scotty with the host. Much appreciated, brother. Johnny, there's a problem. What? Where's the BGA? BGA is right up the north of the map beside field 33. Oh, uh, hey, Voltage. How you doing? Sorry I didn't say hello quicker, bud. And this load's not going as well as the last one did. Well, the trailer will have the big bales included in it. I'm not going to adjust the positions of them because I don't really want to go find the baler. <laughs> so who knows where the hell those are going to end up being on there if somebody actually uses that baler. I don't know anybody that actually does. I was saying. What do I buy? Well, my cheese is organic. All my vegetables is organic. Organic food here is a little bit cheaper because people don't like to go out and buy that shit. How big is the fucking commission on a gate? It's it's twice the price over here, or three times. Yeah, yeah where I live, it's more expensive. 
some I can places. get I can get access to 